A collectors, we're back with another dime box hunt. This one is from Portland, which is interesting because I'm on the East Coast. Well, collectors, as you can see, this is a circulated box of dimes. And as you know, I'm looking for anything silver. We'll take proof coins. We'll take error coins. We'll even take foreign coins if they're in here. But silver's what I'm looking for. All right. We'll get started with roll number one. And I'll take you in if there's anything good. Hey, collectors, we're at the end of roll two. And I've come across first find of the hunt which is this Canadian scent. I didn't look at the year. Oh, here it is. 1981. It's not silver, but it's a fine nonetheless. And this 2015 D, which oddly enough, I need it for my coin album. So I'll pull that aside as well. All right, we'll get back to the hunt. Hey collectors, we're into roll 13. And this one with a very smooth rim caught my eye. I can't tell that's silver or just a very worn coin, but I thought I'd bring you in so we could take a look at it together. That's just a really worn coin. Looks like 2006 D that's been mangled and flattened and destroyed. All right, well, we'll keep looking. I haven't found anything yet, no silver, but we got plenty of rolls to go through. Hey collectors, we're into roll 14, and this looks like a foreign coin. Let's see what we got. Yes, it's a Canadian. 1968. So I don't believe this is silver. I believe the last partial silver was made just before 68, but I'm going to go take a look. I'll be right back. All right, collectors. Well, I just looked this up, and 1967 and 68, the Canadian dimes are 50% silver. So we found some silver. Not bad. We got two Canadians so far in a U.S. dime hunt search, but one is 50% silver. That's a nice find. Hey, collectors. Just pulled out roll 23. Took a look at the other end, and we got a... Canadian Ender. We'll get this one opened up and we'll see if there's anything good inside as well. All right, we got roll 23 opened. I didn't see anything that looks like silver out there, but I'll take a look more closely, but did it find our third foreign of the hunt, third Canadian. This one is a 2009. Not a silver, but we'll put it up here. Still got that 50-50 silver one from earlier. And fingers crossed that we can find some more silver. Lots more to go. All right, collectors, we're into roll 24. And it looks like we have another foreign coin. Let's see if this is also Canadian. It is from 1982. Not silver, but our fourth Canadian of the hunt. This is unusual because normally, if anything, I only end up with one foreign coin in... Um, when I'm looking at dimes, and we've ended up with four so far. I wonder how many more are in here, but we'll take a look to see if we can find some silver. Roll 25, and it looks like we've come across yet another foreign coin. And this looks like uh, a Canadian dime. Let's confirm that. And it is, and this one is from... 1994, 2004. All right. So this has turned into a Canadian dime hunt, strangely enough. Fifth Canadian of the hunt. Hey, collectors. We're into roll 39. I thought I'd bring you back in. And we got a funny looking rim here, which is usually a sign of Canadian, which we have. And let's see what year we got. 1996, maybe? 19, yeah, 1996. All right, we got another Canadian. This has been a Canadian dime hunt for sure. Five plus that one half silver, six. Haven't come across any American silver. Getting towards the end of the box, but uh, got to keep looking. Don't look, you ain't going to find them. 
eight collectors. We're at the end of the box. This is roll 47. And I don't know if you see what I see over there, but that looks like it could be silver. Let's take a look. Yep, 19, 1964 out of Denver. All right, so we got our first US silver dime to go with the half silver Canadian. Not bad, it's always great getting free silver from the bank. We still have all these Canadians. We still have a couple rolls to go, but you know, I'll take it. I'm happy and let's keep going. Well, collectors, the box is empty and this bin is full and we have some fines. So we came up with six Canadian dimes in total, including this 1968 that is 50% silver. And we got this uh, Roosevelt dime from 1964 out of Denver which is a great find. And I forgot to see if there's any varieties for the 64 out of Denver. So there's a D over D variety. So why don't we take a look at this together as we're wrapping up this hunt. We'll see if we get the variety. And it doesn't look like, let's see if we can get this into better focus here. Oh, it looks like there's a D drop shadow beneath that, but it just could be dirt. So I don't think this is D over D. Um, yeah, that looks like some toning behind it. So anyway, silver is silver. And with that, this hunt is done. Thanks again for watching, guys. Please remember to subscribe. I appreciate your support. Uh, click the bell to get reminders or announcements when new videos get posted. And... Happy collecting.